Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example on Elevator Emergency Stop. So let's look at the example first. Elevator Emergency Stop. When the emergency button is pressed, stop the elevator immediately. Open the doors one stop. When the reset button is pressed, it clears the faults, that is, the doors will close and the elevator will start again. So in this example, we will use normally open contacts, normally closed contacts and coils. We will also use memory bits. So let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert, where we will draw a ladder logic for elevator emergency stop. I will open EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep Read Protection as Inactive and Write Protection as Inactive and then click on Apply. Then I will go to Configuration tab. So here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select TM221C24R. Yes. Here is a device description given here. I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for elevator emergency stop. Then I will click on this option to set a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0, 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. And then I will insert a coil for elevator. Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as elevator. Yes. So when start button is turned on, when start button is uh, turned on, elevator will start. And then I will add a new rung here and I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I. 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as emergency button. Yes. And then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as M0 which is a memory bit and then I will add a new rung here and here I will insert one normally open contact I will assign address to it as I 0.2 I will also add symbol to it as reset button Yes. And then I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to it as M1. That is a memory bit. So, when emergency button is turned on, M0 will be on. And that M0 will be used to turn off the elevator. So I will insert a normally closed contact here for elevator and that should be M0. And the reset button will be used to start the elevator and 
make the state of m0 false so here we will insert one more normally close contact here for m0 and i will assign address to it as memory weight 1 that is m1 then we will do latching here we will insert one normally open contact and then connect it like this so i will assign address to it as m0 and also here i will insert one more normally open contact i will assign address to it as m1 m1 so when start button is turned on elevator will be on and then if emergency button is pressed and released m0 will be turned on when m0 will be turned on the current will not flow through it and elevator will stop then when the reset button is turned on that is pressed and released m1 will be true and when m1 will be true the current will not flow through it and m0 will be false and when m0 will be false elevator will start again that is when you turn on reset button so we'll exit full screen mode and compile the program I will click on full screen mode so here when emergency button is turned on m0 gets true and also with m0 there should be doors open so here we will add a new rung here that is when m0 will be true then door should be open so i will assign address to it as m0 m0 gets true when emergency button is turned on then i will assign address to it as q 0.1 i will also add symbol to it as doors yes so when start button is turned on elevator will be on and when emergency button is pressed and released m0 will be true and when m0 will be true doors will open and also when m0 will be true elevator will stop and then when the reset button is turned on m1 will be true and when m1 will be true m0 will be false and when m0 will be false doors will close and elevator will start again so i will exit full screen mode i will compile the program and then go to commissioning a launch simulator then i will start controller to do so click okay then i will go to programming and click on full screen mode so when i turn on start button elevator will start and then when emergency button is turned on elevator will stop doors will open it is because of m0 when emergency button is turned on m0 will be true and when it is true elevator will stop and doors will open and then when the reset button is pressed and released doors will close and elevator will start again it is so because when reset button is turned on that is pressed and released m1 
will be true and when m1 will be true m0 will be false and when m0 will be false doors will be closed and when m0 is false the current will flow through it and elevator will start again it was all about this example thank you for watching